join us today as we take a trip over to Amish country on this fall afternoon with no goal other than watching the animals and doing fall and finding an Amish bakery, perhaps. So as I've mentioned in past videos, when you see a hitching post like this out in the middle of nowhere, and I mean we're pretty much out there, cornfield, etc., sunshine break, baker, sunrise bakery, and mini barns, that it probably means there's a phone booth not too far. And I've yet to really take a chance and see if I can find the phone booth. But now with the leaves thinning on all of the sumac and the trail pretty obvious, I'm going to take a hike up here and see if what kind of phone booth it will be. There's a chair. Hello? And it's a metal building. And I'm curious to see, is there a rotary phone inside? I'm also a little afraid, um, which I should be. This is not my neighborhood. So, let's, uh, looks like it. There's a shovel. Hope this isn't an outhouse, guys. Hello? Oh my gosh, there's a phone on the wall. I can see it, but I can't get in. I can't figure out this lock. Oh, there's some kind. see through the crack on the door here that there's a phone inside on the wall. But I don't know. There's one window on that side. <sighs> Here's the problem with being me. I don't get this or how in the heck to open it. I think it's locked. Mm. It's the phone booth. Well, I guess I'm not going in. There's lots of phones in there. Oh, I want to open it so bad, but I can't get in it. I cannot get in it. <sighs> yep. See that? See that? Wow, I saw at least five phones. Um, some were charging, although uh, it looked like they were on chargers. And uh, there was actually a princess phone in there. That was interesting. Oh, I wish I could get in, but I can't break in to prove a point. So that was interesting. Next time. Haven't um haven't been shorn yet. Sheep. And the horses are very excited about that. Look at that. I wonder why. Do you th are the sheep loose? Oh my gosh, those those sheep might be loose. Are they loose, Larry? I think so. Drive up there. I think they're loose. Where did they come from? Or is there a fence? Oh dear. How did you guys get loose? Huh? Holy schmoly here. I, I, I think they got loose on their own, Larry. I don't think so. All right. There was just an Amish guy that walked across the street and went to that farm. You think you'd see him. Our big horses. Beautiful.
Hello, beauty. Hello. You're beautiful. Oh my gosh. Don't worry. No work today, I guess. Wow. Dilly beans, kosher dill pickles, bread and butter pickles, sweet dill pickles. Very nice scenic spot here. Ah, not too many people shopping. Okay. A couple of horses down there. Mm -hmm. there we go. <laughs> we'll go out and follow that road. Some donuts to eat yeah. as we go. She's sold out here. Right. Hmm. Anything there? Try a cookie, a donut. So when you close Let's try a donut. Simply by right next door to the bakery, it appears there is this lovely round barn. We're going to pull up this road and get a photo of it. Clearly it's been restored, right? Hmm. That's a new roof on it. It's nice. Oh, what have we here? Looks like you can come up at any time you need to get a drink of water. There's a cup attached. Hmm. It's cute. And that looks like a little Santa Maria. I'd show you Pa's Road. 
I don't know if that's a real road or if someone just made that sign, but it looks official. And we're back here at what would be the um, entrance to um, what we believe is a, an Amish phone booth that I couldn't open earlier. And if you know me, you know that I'm not one to give up. So I've asked LD to go up and see if he can open the door. And uh, I doubt it though. It's locked pretty good. Okay, I think he opened it. I'm sorry, but it's a public phone booth, I think. Thanks, LD. You might want to head back to the car. And So here we are, and I could not refuse looking inside, and I couldn't get over it. And look, here's your Amish phone booth. Oh, it's really dark. Really dark. Huh. Here we go. Amish phone booth. Phone numbers, message boards, pencil sharpeners, and two phones. I'm telling you. This is it. Oh, there's some more phones. Dial phones. Punch phones. Oh, for heaven's sake. Do you see all these phones in here? Yeah. There's a headlamp. <laughs> you rascals. Pair of glasses. All right, we did it. Can't turn it. Thank you. Wow, <laughs> inquiring minds gotta know. That was great. I wonder if everyone has their own phone and their own phone number. I suppose that's it. I suppose when when you get a chance to call an Amish person um, when they give you a phone number you always think that you know they're on a party line of some type with an English person but no you're getting a phone booth I think with recorded messages. Being super naughty. These goats were just being super naughty a minute ago. I don't know what they were fighting about but they were jumping on each other and carrying on I, I don't that's the guy right there that's running he's angry look at him he wants to fight that goat and that goat sheep look Ooh. oh what's going on here oh back him down all right they're gonna do a butt a head butt Oop, there they go is it play or is it is it anger or what the heck is it they're cute. They're playing. Then the j chicken came to find out what's going on. And so now the sheep is going to go talk to the other one. Oh, and they're going to do it again. By golly. Why are they having an argument? Ooh, I think he's mad at that chicken too. Yep. They're both mad at the chicken. Run, chicken. Run, run. That, that guy wants to do head bumps. <laughs> He's joyous. He is. Oh, no. There, he's having a blast, a super blast, kicking his feet and carrying on. And now they're done. And the horses seem to be a little bit riled too over here. You see them there pacing a bit too because the sheep are carrying on. Oh, golly. And there's a young one in there and I have no doubt it's just this wonderful fall weather that they're enjoying. Getting ready for winter. Beautiful scene here. That was the cutest thing I've seen in a while. Let's keep going.
Well, hello, you adorable creatures. How did you find your way out here? <laughs> well, you're very handsome. Yes, you are. You're very, very handsome. I love your hair. It's so cute and what a great cut. And mm -hmm. I like it. Is that your natural color? Who's your friend? Oh, she's delightful. 